Well, you don't feel like work prompt. So, first time went pretty bad. Okay. Uh, I walked right up to her and said, Hey, Hello. do you know me? <laughs> yeah. Not the smartest move. So I'm not going to do that again. Okay. What I'm going to do is uh, tailor okay. for a certain period of time until I know she's kind of stopped for a bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead of her and act like a performer because I'm in this different costume with a mask. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the whole statue, human statue, human statue and thing. listen in to our conversations. Perfect. Okay. So you trail, you kind of like pick up her trail. You kind of ask around, the other mamas kind of guide you um, and you are led to, she's currently patrolling through one of the uh, commoner districts. She's just kind of moving through, seems to My be going, kind of again, four, four guards, these kind of private security firm all with her, all keeping an eye out. But as you enter, and this is why I spent the heat, as you enter the district and you start trailing her, you notice that a lot more people are keeping an eye out. Like, common, it's not like paid security, but as you look around, you start to see that there are notices with your description, oh, and Mama will maybe wearing costumes, <laughs> keep an eye out, basically. It's like natural. Um, and so you find that people are a lot more wary in this district, so it's going to add a lot of challenge die to whatever you want to do. So the first thing you want to do is to stay out of height, sight, you're going to give it a sneak or some yep. sort of stealth roll. Alleyways. All yep. the way. So what kind of skills do you have that might allow you to <clears throat> help with that? Hmm. Conceal an object. Nope. <laughs> uh, you are not, you could conceal an object, you are not an object. Can I distract someone? So I'm like, sure. look Dis over there. Distract somebody, <laughs> distract somebody sounds fine. Cause you're kind of like, maybe trying to draw attention, like doing like the talking statue of like pointing at other people and trying to drive that attention away from yourself. Because of this, mm. uh, cause you are wary, you had two of those. Um, and it's just gonna be straight up rolls. 42, so I do it with a, a challenge. With a challenge, okay. So as you're kind of doing this- um, I throw a rock. <laughs> you, you throw a rock and everyone's like, what's that guy doing? And like you sneak over and you start trying yeah. to follow them around and things like that. Um, and yeah, you kind of manage to get ahead of Vixar and you can follow her around. And throughout the day you kind of, uh, you know, you keep doing this process, kind of pretend to be a, a statue. Like peeking around walls. Yeah, like peeking around walls. But again, like these people are constantly keeping an eye out for you. And you can see that uh, Vexasia and her guard are kind of really paranoid about where they're going. A number of times they loop through the same districts trying to throw people off. Um, and. Uh, Give me another uh, distract attempt as you kind of like this goes on throughout same the day. Challenges. Basically. Same Same rolls. Oh, so that's 78. With two bads. With two baddies. And it's 78 a success. Uh, for distracting someone, yes. Okay. Just. Just. So you're kind of doing this um, and you're kind of keeping them distracted. And this quite pretty girl, red red hair, kind of wearing a kind of like a tavern girl kind of outfit, kind of comes up and you're kind of trying to keep an eye on Vexatia, but she comes up, she's like, oh wow, your costume's so good. And she's like trying to peek Thank at you. Thank you, but out the way. Um, and she's like, oh no, are you, are you one of the mamas? And like, she's like looking at you, like trying to peer Don't look at my face. Um, are <laughs> I'm you, wearing a mask for a reason. <laughs> she doesn't seem to be taking the hint. She's like, oh wow. And like, she's looking around, can I see your face? Like, is that a mask? What are you wearing? Like just ask, asking all these questions, and she doesn't seem to show any signs of buggering off. I'm gonna trip her up. Okay, um, sure. Give me like a. Do you have like something on your skills that might be like uh, attack someone or like trip someone or something like that? Uh... Give me an anything else then, um, with the two two black dice on that one as well. Oh shit! <laughs> so you like in the middle of like this like public plaza? Yeah, you're that's... like. <laughs> <laughs> you try and just knock at this like, you know, maybe sort of like young 20s pretty girl. 93. <laughs> and a challenge. Would you like to try and push your luck? I can't really. Okay, so uh, you go to trip um, this girl, like you make a thing, uh, but she is far more dexterous than you gave her credit for. And she kind of slips out the way, knocks the mask off of your face. My mask! Um, and you basically hear a commotion as a lot of people kind of turn around like, oh, what's going on? Vexatia and that see you as well. Uh oh, wiggy! This, <laughs> oh, wiggy! <laughs> just this awful. girl. Just fucking awful. There's a flash oh. of silver and she's just like, the blooded send their regards and stab oh. you in the chest, basically. Wiggy! Um, <laughs> Wiggy, no! So this is, uh, Fuck. 61. I think you just avoid being stabbed. 
Okay. Wiggy! <laughs> Wiggy, save me! Save me! Take me into space, Wiggy! <laughs> yeah. So, you basically, she lunges with this so knife, many other just dimensions. barely missing you as you kind of manage to Whoa. twist out of the way. But now, this whole plaza, Vexatious sees you, smiles, and is like, ah, another chance to get this one. Kill him! And they just, she points her finger, and you start, you're, you're in this scenario. Would either of you two like to be nearby? Once 20, again, 20 Chris Trot. do so. <laughs> no. I don't okay. Know. No, I wouldn't like Cool. You. Chris Trot. just going to get sure arrested. Can, I'm not sure what I can do. <laughs> I don't I can do anything either. Oh, oh, oh. My, my strategy is to break you out when that... <laughs> when you eventually yeah. get captured. Like, if you get captured, I have to I could, like, out. pose as an official, but, like, it's a pretty long fucking I'll shot. I'll take it from here. What would you like to do? Uh, Bumblebee Smoke! <laughs> Bumblebee Smoke. <laughs> Okay, so give me a use out chemical objects, uh, but you're gonna have your two black dark challenge side because this girl is now actively trying to fight you. The kind of suspicion thing doesn't matter anymore. 54. Uh, 54, is that a success? Yeah. Okay. For a challenge. Okay, I'll make a quick check to this girl as well. <sighs> Okay, so you kind of like throw Bumblebee smoke down. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. You basically hear Vex and go, for fuck's sake, not again. Uh, the guards are like, I'm not fucking going in there. It's that Bumblebee stuff, smoke. That sucks. Uh, and they kind of like bumble around. You can see them trying to get ready to try and chase in after you. But this girl that you fucking came out of nowhere is just like, <clears throat> she holds her man out. She's like, you're not getting her fucking away. Uh, Please, like, leave me alone. She's still on you, basically, at this point. Um, she's going to take another swing. I hate my fans. But she is, because of the thick smoke, I'm going to give her two black challenge die. <laughs> nope. Uh, uh, she kind of like stumbles. She like cuts it, like falls down on the ground. You can see like blood kind of like spraying her arm. She like stands back up and starts like, swiping you in the smoke, unable Crazy to find you. Crazy lady. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm just going to run like hell. Okay, it's going to be a run like hell. <laughs> I'm getting nothing from this. Again. You, uh, uh... It wasn't in your favour. No. Uh... It's a 16. 17, right? 16. Okay, so you start running and this girl just starts chasing after you again. Uh, you can hear the other guards, like, starting to follow you now as well, but they're quite far behind. Um, what I'm gonna be to stripping do? off my clothes at the same time, okay, so like, like, leaving, like, a clothes. pink <laughs> suit, <laughs> okay. a pink top hat. Okay. Like, pink socks. Okay. Until I'm just pretty much in my underwear. Okay. And uh, just, yeah, I'm trying to like. Sorry, Lucian. So do a distract. Cool. Just a straight up. I'm not going to add anything to this. Just take one of these objects and leave. <laughs> okay. Thirty-seven. Okay. I'm good. So you start doing all of this, and you you actually throw your jacket, and it kind of the girl's so close behind you, it kind of wraps around her face for a moment, and you use that to just quickly dart into an alleyway. Um, and you can you, you think they may have lost them. Give me just an anything else or a sneaky kind of like a not a distract, but like do you have like sneak around or anything? Uh, no. Okay, just give me a straight uh, sneak, but you get to add one of the blue ones. Oh, cool. Uh, that's a ninety-seven again, exactly. <laughs> What the fuck? So you hear for a moment, like, you manage to, like, <laughs> down, and then yeah, you're like, oh, this bumblebee <laughs> smoke! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and streaming from around the corner. God damn, that Streaming from the corner <laughs> is this Vixatia character, basically, like, turns around, she's like, kill him! Aha, a uh, third try! <laughs> and she pulls out, and you can see her now, like, with her one good hand, she pulls out a hand crossbow, and these four guards come streaming around. Wiggy, quick! Time dilution! <laughs> Save in space! I'm gonna drink my alchemical. Okay. <laughs> Give what? me just. What is it? Just roll the percentile dice. <laughs> Don't add anything. It's just... my brew to take me to space. <laughs> <laughs> is this the future one? It's or the future one. This is a, it's oh gonna be a bit like. What's um, gonna do though? I don't know. What's that thing in Mistborn where they can see slightly ahead of time? Oh, yeah, or like, I was gonna go with something like that, depending on what 56? you roll. 56? 56. I'm gonna push um, my luck and make it 46. Okay, sure. Do that. So this is a, something called dumb luck, where you just roll and you pretty much have a 50% chance. Normally you're not allowed to push your luck on it, but I'm gonna let it because it's funny. Oh, okay. You drink this potion, and there's a moment where it like, woof, the world turns slow Like, <laughs> And Wiggy's just like, <laughs> appears next to you. What are you fucking doing, you <laughs> stupid bastard? Wiggy, right. help me. All right, all right. <laughs> you're gonna do exactly what I tell you to, all right? 
Right, gotcha. you're gonna dodge to the left, there's that bolt, and like you kind of move to the left, and the bolt bounces off the thing. Oh, He's like, right. Can he ask him if he wants to see the future? I just <laughs> love this. Like, yeah. Do you want to see the future? Do you want to see the future? Oh, I love the All future. Right. <laughs> Follow me. And he's like this big crystalline golem like figure. Like, Can I stand on your face? <laughs> no, I, you can't, you silly bastard. <laughs> Jesus. Multi dimensional being, and I'm helping out some fucking stoner. All right, pull this way, and he like moves you out of the way, and it's like another Going. flurry of bolts. Or is the world moving? He like pulls you through a building, and like all Whoa. these startled people are looking around. He throws you under a table, they Whoa. all walk past. They don't notice as a barmaid kind of clashes into them where they've kind of gone in, and as it does, he pulls you up, leads you out the back door, basically. Um, and so with like Wiggy's <laughs> help, like you're like this a savant of like knowing like little glimpses of the future, basically. What a sequence! <laughs> <laughs> and you're basically pulled out uh, to freedom. How are you? <laughs> Um, and that's pretty much the end of your like work scene. Jesus, I think that's what Christ. happens. Yeah, in reality, like... I've been beaten up on her in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Dutch bullets. <laughs> no, you do actually manage to succeed, but it could okay. it could easily be just acquired as dumb luck. Like you just literally lucked your way what through. What is the dumb luck thing then? Uh, it's basically if you don't have a skill, you just have a fifty percent chance. It, it's kind of like if it doesn't cover, you have fifty percent chance to do it, um, and that's pretty much it. You don't get to add any boons. You don't get any advantage. It's just a straight roll okay um and it's if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't cool so there you go so uh that concludes the legwork scene uh so you guys that's going to be day two down uh, which means we begin a th day three can you hear me major Just, tom can you hear me major ziggy <laughs> fucking save <stem>. me ziggy <laughs> it's wiggy Fine. wiggy sorry i'm ziggy wiggy i thought he was just wig it's or is wig. it Wiggy? I call him Wiggy. Oh, Wiggy, yeah. it's okay. Ziggy, take me to space. <laughs> I am going to say no more future potion though. Like, that was a pretty, pretty the epic last gamble. Drops. Yeah, the last drops of your future potion. Okay. <laughs> take me. It's like limitless. Like he's just sucking up the blood to like yeah. get the last bit of the limitless drug. Here we go. All right, there we go. Plan ahead, boys. What the fuck happened there, mate? I want to say yeah. I gained something from my escapades. I gained fucking nothing. You're a silly Super. Freak. And well, I lost my pink tux. I, got I was going to mean for like spending heat on you. Like of all the people I could have done it to, I was like, a bit to trot, it's funny. I have nothing <laughs> to give. But I'm willing to go the lengths in the next legwork. Does that mean another legwork? Uh, so you're on day three. Yeah. Uh, this is the beginning. So this is day of day three. So you're going to have one, two. We'll have another segment. We'll have three segments. So let's plan. Well, we have <laughs> Phineas Copper Leaf is the dude. Well, we know the numbers. We the main thing we need to work out is where we're going to jump them and how. The gondola will uh, start. So there. they're going to go that way and it that goes way. That Comes way. out of here. He goes. So is the canyon. Canyon. The canyon. I saw this in my dreams. <laughs> That's ten minutes, and there's a red flag at either end. Yeah. According to so. the future, I can float on water, so I can <laughs> tail the gondola floating. Behind. That what unseen? I'll dress as water. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't help. Um, you mean so mine? Your exactly. idea is to sink or like. Well, one of the cool things I'd like to do is the replacement gondola that we're going to use. We submerge mm -hmm. in the canyon. So right. when they turn the initial corner and the red flag comes up to stop traffic, they see it's free. So they're going down, going down. Boom. We cut the, the things holding, the weights holding the. Everybody's going to see that. Well, on the comes. rooftop. <laughs> well, not everybody. There will be, like, they meant, so he mentioned to you about there will be people watching from the rooftops. The canyon, those people but will I still be able to see. I also said that I'd replace the lookouts. Did you say, because you said replacing the security guards. I thought he just said that you just, yeah, you were the, like, that's oh, of the course. Elite yeah. team. The, the security force will be on the boat and oh, on the okay, street. Yeah, the fair. onlookers are like, so there's we'll 12. So need to deal with them. the onlookers. Yeah. So they're basically like, they're scouts. We they're can do that in the next legwork, deal with the onlookers, and then we've got this. Area. So, can any of you draw on your cartels to hire stuff? I think Mum's. I can, can get hire her. entertainers to distract them. Uh, what else can you do? Well, <laughs> uh, arrange for my crew, uh, gain access to a safe house, convince a, convince a performing troupe from your cartel to act as a distraction. 
ever seen. I can stage a funeral procession through a district of <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? So, like, so to keep it in mind, so <laughs> just on the either side, you've got um, you've got a commoner district here, and then this is a affluent merchant district. The canyon, there's no street; it's all like the flat edges of buildings. Basically, think like Venice, the type of typical yeah. like the buildings like just line flat. up on either side, right up to um, the waterfront. But it does mean that on the other side of that is a street where there could be things like performers or a funeral procession or something like that. So you can still have those things trailing along, like on the other side. We could use the roofs and uh, pull the uh, put one um, gondola down and then bring that gondola up and take onto the roof. Winch system. Winch system. Yeah, I think we do need to get rid of those. It's gonna be heavy. This is uh, an area where there's a lot of building work going on. Mm -hmm. There could be a building accident onto the gondola, crumbling building onto gondola, causing it to sink, and then. Instant funeral procession. To the people, <laughs> to the people on looking, they think, "Oh my God, it's over." Yeah. And then, in reality, we have another gondola come out the other side for everybody else. To so trap them inside the canyon. Oh, oh that's it. It ends there. We just collapse a building onto it, and then we get the treasure later. Once everybody's dead inside. So they're gonna try and retrieve it. The I mean, onlookers, they're just paid to onlook. Collapse a building. No, they'll tell them. They're, 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 they're not onlookers. They're like. Okay. They're like paid scouts. How yeah. about it collapses right at the end so that they can't see what's happened. There's rubble in the way. But they're looking down on it. We collapse it horizontally. <laughs> I'm so not sure a collapsing wall. a building is, is, is necessary. Or it, even I can talk to Wiggy. What, is that a feature again? Well, the bridge is like over He might be able to freeze time. <laughs> huh? The, the bridge, bridge will take like two to three minutes underneath that. But so it like is completely obscured, basically. Only the people on the gondola. So the bridge is a the better option then, because... If you want to do something hidden, yes. We need... If the... you wanted to do something by force, the canal is uh, more restricted. The bridge, technically, there are gondolas on other uh, in these other lanes. They just can't see in very easily. Yeah. But they could easily have like men jump across or swim across and things like that. Also, to make it look... The smooth. bridge is very low as well, by the way. To make it look super smooth, and there's individual single lanes, we need to have our gondola parked in front of the gondola, and then make that one stop and the other one come out. So we need to talk to whoever's doing the bridge canal trafficking. Yeah. So the way that that works is kind of, if you guys have learned this, is on the top of the bridge, there'll be basically citizens who are paid to kind of like guide, almost be like traffic lights, human traffic lights. Like, in you go. They're like red flags, stop, green flags, you can go in. Um, and then when Commons. they come out the other side, the other guys on this side then shout back and say, right, next one, all right, go. Be easy, easy to put a gondola in there at night, ready for yeah. the day. We could either say there's building work going on for blocking up the lane, or we submerge the gondola. Um, underwater into one of the lanes, and I then think one of the submerging is going to be an incredible task. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I can poison Valaxia or whatever her name is. Um, Vixatia. Vixatia with a letter. I can also we can spend additional influence because we've got some. I can have a servant plant an evidence to pin blame for a poisoning on a noble. So I could um, pin it on Vixatia. the captain. Oh, Arthur. So afterwards, when it comes back, oh fuck, who poisoned that? He gets done for the poisoning as well. And then he's just out of the picture. Then who's going to do it in tents? Surely they'll find replacements. No, yeah. I mean afterwards. So we'd point oh, right. out uh, once the, the heist is done, thing. just to tidy it up, you know. Nice. It's just, it's a nice tidy job. Could we find like a nice yeah. tidy so we're job? So we're yeah. going to stop the gondola with all the security on it under this bridge. No, we're going to be the security on the gondola. That's one thing we need to do. Well, there's one thing to note as well, though, is you learn that there's a lot more guards mm. than just you there's three. So we're going to need guards. to get some people We need other somehow. people. We can hire, arrange for a crew to be hired as entertainers for a party or other social event. All right. Does this count as that? Yeah. I can make them dress up as security. You can have employees of a cartel funeral parlor remove clothing or jewelry from a deceased citizen to complete <laughs> a disguise. It's pretty good disguise. Or we can arrange that for after we kill them all. Uh, we could. We might just have to spend one of our group influence to organise some yeah. hired help, essentially. Yeah, yeah. I'd say yeah. that you can do that. Yeah. To be our fillings. They'll be yeah. shit, but because like, they're not going to be like proper good. Can they just be like we tell them what to do? Because I said yeah. that we're going to be. Uh, there are three captains who the we're. Gonna I might. Place. I might have you spend two influence because none of you can naturally do that. I mm. might require two influence for you to basically get enough people that you need who yeah. are going to take orders from you. We get our hired security. Yeah. We go to Arthur. And then you say, brief all the onlookers of this is the security now. So these are the okay people. And if you see them, they're fine. And that way, we don't have any problem with these onlookers on the bridge. Or but on how the do we do the transfer? Transfer, 
is, yeah, we need to spend the legwork now, someone else getting the lead weights and, and a gondola and putting them there in the bridge. So we are going to do that though. What do we do about the existing gondola that stays under the bridge? We sink it. Or we just block it in there and close it off. Or we sink it and then go and get the gold afterwards. We close off the lane and say like it's just blocked. So we need to submerge and sort a gondola. We need to, we need to hire the staff. Um, Don't we need to figure out how to get into the initial cabin? No, we arrive as a security team. Okay. So we're getting on it, we're boarding it. Like, she has like, hey, the key though, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, to get into the cabin. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, we need the gold, we need the cash. You need to poison her and get the key. I was going to poison her anyway. And then get the I key. I was going to poison her anyway. If we sink it, we can drown the people inside. And then... Um, get retrie the treasure Retrieve it later. How do we specify that we're going to retrieve it later? But would it not be like the first thing that they try and go like, retrieve? What? Not if they see the that the gondola's made it safely to oh, the right. yeah, but, but then, fake, but then once one. they open it though, yeah. oh, fuck, that's, the, the, that's the time we take to get it and get away with it. Yeah. But can you make an alchemical potion that makes things float and uh, do it a sink? It basically he gets to describe an effect, how the, the alchemical thing is used, and then a potential danger to the user. I have a potion. Uh-huh. Where <laughs> fuck. We need, no, you make it like a, a, a paste or something, yeah, so a, gonna, a waterproof paste. So I spray it on the surface and whatever it is becomes a hundred times heavier. Okay. Um, so that it would sink. And its negative effect? Is I become a hundred times heavier. Perfect. Okay, uh, well, well we need something to raise, we need something to raise it as well. It sink. lasts Ra hour. Well, as in like the one that you apply. It you lasts could, three hours. I, I would say that you can probably, as part of that, make the anti. you can make the anti thing that you can kind of get rid of it with. Okay. You just but wipe it, it off, I guess. Yeah, you wipe it, but it, it won't what work for you. What if you wait a hundred times more? I'd just sink into the water and, and just die. be able to move. You drown. Like, you wouldn't be able to move. You'd basically be like... The other thing I'm worried about is my vision where one of the chests was red hot. So I think... I'm worried that one of them trapped. could be trapped. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, I don't feel like we're gonna do this. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not confident. I didn't see this going well. I think there is. So what do we do with the legwork scene? We got 18 seconds. Okay, legwork scene. So we need to hire the staff, which I guess is just an influence thing. I also would like to. Um, it's faster. So we got another planning stage and another legwork stage after this, right? Yes. Okay, so we need We've to submerge it. We need to source a gondola and submerge it under the bridge. And stop! <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much pretty much any planning, any discussion. Like, obviously, yeah. we can say what each well, leg I works say, I'm going to spend be. my influence to uh, send a poison letter to okay. Vexatia. 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 So you send a poison letter to Vexatia. Perfect. What was the thing you... What were the legwork scenes you guys wanted to do? You wanted to... Well, we need to um, hire find staff. the boat, hire staff. Find but the is that legwork? Hiring staff? No, you've spent influence to do it. I just want to make notes so I know like what's going down. Uh, we so need we to find a replacement to gondola. Replace the gondola. We need to make it look like the gondola. Um, we need You're to sink it. You're the guy to do that to find a gondola. Yeah, we need to sink it. it. We also need something to cover it um, so that when we when we leave path. with the actual, um, sorry, cover the actual one. So when we leave with the actual one, it doesn't look like the same fucking one again. So yeah, yeah. just a big tarp or something, or some washing or something mm -hmm. in it. Vexatia does know you, but you've sent a poison letter to her. Dear Vexatia, you're die. dead. <laughs> Le, you're dead. If you're reading this, you've already touched a poison. <laughs> we'll die very shortly. <laughs> Lots of love. The leaf. Um, We'd be great for you to be able to make one that would... Um, um, Honestly, the less I'm out and about, the better. But if you can bore a hole into the door, that would A, allow us to undo the lock from the inside, <coughs> and B, drown all the in occupants because it would let the water They will flood it, yeah. yeah. That's disgusting. But I, I like mean, it. Yeah. Somebody's got to, you know, yeah. Yeah. do it. I mean, I'll do it. Yeah. I'll I mean, the other it. thing is, don't forget, um, Bamblick can pick locks. Like, although you uh, don't have the key. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we Yeah, but that way, the door's open and they can get out at us. If we just bore a little hole in. What's that? Who's that? Out there? Who's that? Oh god, it's sinking! Oh, there's water coming in! Quick, squeeze through the hole! Quick, quick, get in the Oh, that's horrible. Then we push the corpses out of the way and get the treasure. Yeah, perfect. Much. Bam. Yeah, that's how we That's why they call me uh, uh Chaz Trash Can. Because <laughs> I do trashy, horrible shit. But I get the job we done. We the trash can on this one. I get the job done. You think you I'm up. bad? You should meet my ex-wife. You moved up from coach, that's for sure. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, you're cool. the chemist. I will. I've made notes, and I can continue that next time. Well, good fucking luck. Good. Yeah. So, how many more segments have we got after? Uh, three. We come back. We got three segments. So you have leg work, and then two more that you can choose to do with what you want. And then it all goes I think down. you guys you guys have got a much better plan than you think you do. I think like you are like, oh, I don't know how we're gonna do this. Like it's fine, you've got a vague inkling of a plan. The sinking stuff. I kind is of a good forgot idea. yeah, I kind of forgot that we had the alchemical element. Like, yeah. I was like, oh we're gonna have to use weights and then we're gonna have to cut those weights off. But no, nah, fuck it, just use magical potions. Magic <laughs> potions, yeah. Fucking why not? I mean, I really like the idea of pouring the little hole. Do you want well, me as, to... a, as a Vesper, don't you have the ability you can craft a oh no, is always that a poisoner, I think. There's a specialization called a poisoner. Yeah. Where like, you can basically do Al alchemy, but as a, like a poison. So like you can make like I'm gonna make a poison that makes them forget the last twenty years of their life. Jeez, or really? like I'm gonna make a poison that makes them mute. All right, forever. so this, <laughs> like wow. it's just like so it's perfect for those missions where it's like right, you're not allowed Don't to worry, kill just these forget people. all his loved ones. Yeah. Drink up. <laughs> what? Uh, but you, you've not you. physically harmed him, so it's okay. What a mother. <laughs> I just pissed myself. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it says here, the transmutation of one material into another that doesn't affect its biological features. So I could literally turn this treated wood into super heavy wood yeah. or super light wood. Yeah, which oh, that's cool. I'll like coat it. So you're in G-Mod, just changing the yeah. properties Boop. of a yeah. <laughs> It's now made of fluff. Perfect. That's why I like this. Uh, that is a feather. That's why I like this game, because there's so much of like, yeah, fucking what do you guys want to do? Like, what's just the name of this place? It. Like, we don't it. even, yeah. that's not even a roll for it. It's you roll to use it and you might fuck yourself over, yeah. but just coming up with it, it's like, yeah, just do what you want. We'll yeah. see how it goes. We'll see how, see how, it, goes. how it goes. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next Indeed. time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.